What's happening, everybody? Welcome to episode 149.5 of the Games and Grabs podcast. My name is Sonny G, and I am joined, as always, with Finn Steele. Finn, what's up? Hello. I'm good, thanks. I'm all right. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good, man. Good. I'm, uh, it's been a week. It really has been a week. You're recovering. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, big time. Um, yeah. Before we get going, guys, uh, sorry about the lack of podcast last week. Um, so on the Wednesday when we usually record, I had the most crippling toothache of all time. It was ridiculous. Um, so I went to the dentist that day and they couldn't get me in to have the tooth out until the day after. So the Thursday, I went and had a tooth out, uh, which sucked. Yep. Um, <laughs> And on top of that, I was already scheduled for an operation, an actual operation on the Saturday. Um, so yeah, I've I've had a week. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, I didn't want to miss out a second week. I wanted you guys to have a podcast. That's why this is one hundred and forty nine point five. This could yeah, easily be episode one hundred and fifty, but it isn't. We don't do things <laughs> <No>. normally. <laughs> Nah. People are going to be like, technically, this is episode one. No, it's not. It isn't. Actually, it's very yucky. No, yeah. Doesn't count. Doesn't count. See, it's not here. It's not live. Doesn't count. No, it doesn't count. Uh, yeah. When it's live, that's episode 150. Exactly. Not if you don't the do pre-show it live before week. the pre-show. That's not. <laughs> that's different. That's we'll, not. Do that to, we'll do that this Sunday. Yeah. I'm, I'm off then, this Sunday, so I'll be there. Oh, you're going to be there? Yeah. It's going to say, man. I don't think, you know, because of the week I've had, I'd be able, me and Steve would be able to carry it. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I'll be here. I'll be here to help. I'll be here with some as well. But I'm all good. Hell yeah! Two pay per views yeah. in a row. Are you going to be okay? Uh, I think I think I manage. Yeah, just about. I think you'll manage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but yeah, man. We so we wanted to give you a podcast again this week. So that's why 149.5 is here. Exactly. You're welcome. <laughs> you are <laughs> very welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Finn, you've had a week. I had a week. My shock got robbed the other day. That was fun. <laughs> You're in the news. Um, wow. Yeah, well, the local the news. local news. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. So I was on the tilt, uh, despite almost never being on the tilt these days. Since I'm becoming a supervisor, I just happened to be there on the tilt. A uh, couple of guys jumped up on the tilt, climbed over through the like barricade that we had up because of COVID. Mm. Uh, yeah, pushed me out of the way and went for the tilt. Uh, tried opening it by hand, no tools. Um, I was like, I am with that? No? Okay. Uh, then my, uh, I didn't actually say that. Then my colleague from behind me came, gave him a big boot. Uh, knocked oh, yeah. off all the like, <laughs> boots off the uh, shelf that was behind him. And then, yeah, I just legged it, went into the uh, like office, which is, it's counts as like a, like a safe room because it's like super tough. Um, and yeah, so that was, that was interesting. An interesting day. Police came about five minutes later. And yeah, by then they'd, they'd buggered off and I think they went up and hit another store. I think it's like a, like a petrol, petrol station up the road. So Jeez. yeah, a couple of bastards. Yeah. The, the balls on them to not <laughs> only right. attempt to rob your store, but then go to go to another one afterwards. Yeah. The stupid thing is they got away with about 80 pounds. Wow. Right. That <laughs> was, was worth pretty it. worth it. Yeah. They didn't even take any, like we had like all the expensive booze behind the till. They didn't even touch it. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> they, they needed that eighty pounds to... to buy other booze. I guess so. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Not only are you idiots for stealing the shop, you're idiots because you don't know how to get money. You're bad. You're bad robbers. What are you doing? Yeah. Do some. Hey, look. Do some research <laughs> before you go and robbing places. Exactly. Yeah. Don't just turn up with no plan. Did they have like, <laughs> like stockings on their heads and stuff? Uh, no, it's had to, like the the mask because of COVID. Um, that was it. That was it. Yeah. No gloves. So you had fingerprints everywhere. Oh, yeah. Good God. What's <laughs> wrong with people, man? They're like uh, the criminals used to be, you know, respectable <laughs> in terms of how they went about their business, but now, you know, they're relying on COVID masks. Yeah. Just lazy. And if they're not wearing gloves, that's just stupid. Yeah. I know, right? You have the perfect, you know, excuse to be wearing gloves. You know, idiots. Well, <laughs> I hope the I hope the police get them or have got them. Yeah, I'd say they haven't got them yet, but, but uh, yeah, hopefully they keep us posted. There you go. Yeah. So yeah, in the in the local in the local news, <laughs> it was like uh, Games and Grouts podcast host Finn Steele <laughs> was on hand to throw bread at them to to to, to warn them off. 
<laughs> yeah. So the thing is, I had used to, I was taking out like a home delivery thing. I had a little, little pad in my hand, just like doing whatever. And for some reason, I thought <laughs> I just kept that in my hand. I got went into the safe office and I was like, "Why am I holding this? <laughs> Why do I still have this?" You should have like <laughs> swung it at them. I should have. I should have lobbed it at them and run. Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, man. Never next time. Hopefully, there's not going to be a next time, but just in case. So, the, see, this is why this podcast rules. You never know what's going to happen on a weekly basis. <laughs> yeah. Run times. I have an operation. Finn gets robbed. Not yeah. Finn himself, but his shop. <laughs> and Finn is the protector of that shop. And the protector. Protector. <laughs> protector Finn. <laughs> yeah, man. Um,. Right. Um, so I guess what we should do probably is just go about our business as we always do. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, so, you know, we have nothing planned really this week. This is just sort of like, we'll do a podcast this week. And, you know, we've been doing this long enough for 149.5 episodes to be precise. <laughs> and um, <laughs> we should be good enough at it at this point to just figure it out as we go along. Yeah, it's like, a, it's like an extra episode. Yeah, it's like a bonus episode. Yeah, this is this Doesn't is the uh, <laughs> this is the sickness episode. <laughs> yeah, got to get up, and get down with the sickness. Absolutely, the games and grabs. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent, disturbed reference, Finn. What are you playing? <laughs> um, well, I'm still playing the DLC for Final Fantasy VII Remake. I've finished the main thing, finished it again on hard, done all the trophies except for one, which is for beating a extra really tough boss in the main game. Which is a pain in the ass. I'm laying it early right. today. I had plans to like go out in the sunshine, uh, but didn't go spending hours trying to beat this dickhead. Uh, <laughs> you had plans to go out in the sunshine. Yeah, not many plans. It's gonna go out and be like, it's hot, and go back inside. It is hot today. Uh, <laughs> it's very hot. It's so hot. Um, Remember yeah, the time so we did the podcast at yours when it was really, really hot, <laughs> and like it was the hottest. Yeah, the we hottest were, day. Like, just we were ever. just like sweating balls it was unbelievable <laughs> yeah that wasn't fun uh, but yeah still plugging away at that um what else i'm playing metroid on stream in stream metroid my metroid t-shirt right now yeah nice what's a cool t-shirt it's a very cool t-shirt i'm wearing it's a jurassic a... park t-shirt for those who are watching nice. the video uh, version of this podcast will appreciate <laughs> our wonderful fashion sense not at all oh, really yeah. <laughs> not at all no 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 um but yeah, I beat uh, Metroid Zero Mission on stream. That was a lot of fun. Nice. So we make we got the first game with added stuff on the end. Very cool. Um, cool. So that's Metroid One. I was going to play Metroid Two, but it's a Game Boy game and it hasn't aged well. It's very old, uh, so I might skip that one. <laughs> but I'm going to play Metroid Super Metroid on the Super Nintendo, which is oh, Metroid cool. Three. Okay. Yeah, so I'll play that next. I'm going to play it on the Switch, like the little uh, emulator thing they've got on online emulator. Oh, is it on there, is it? Yeah, yeah. Sounds oh, cool. okay, that's cool. On the, uh, yeah. yeah, so they they just call it Nintendo Switch Online, don't they? Something like that, yeah. Because Nintendo aren't <laughs> asked. It's like the most <laughs> unimaginative thing ever. <laughs> it can't be us. Nintendo Online, Super Nintendo thing. There you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, just play these N old games. Yeah, what's that on N64? Too bad. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you yeah, know, we, we could call it Virtual Console, which is a really cool name for it. You know, if only... <laughs> You know, that was a thing that was available to us. Um, <laughs> but no, in Nintendo Switch Online, it is. Yeah. <laughs> in brackets, uh, go fuck yourselves. <laughs> yeah. You can still get used like the Virtual Console on Wii U. And that means using the Wii U. In fact, yeah. you, can buy, in fact you can buy the Game um, the Game Boy Advance games on Wii U if you wanted to. It's pretty nice. But again, that would mean firing up the Wii U. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I've been playing them with the GameCube Game Boy Adapter. Plugged into my TV, plugged into my PC. Is that the thing that goes underneath? Like, the, you sit the GameCube on top of it? Uh, yeah, that's the one. Okay. Put the disc in, it reads the GameCube. Um, what a cool feature that case. is, by the way. It's very cool. It's very awesome. I had it for ages and barely used it. So I thought now it's time. Peripheral. Very cool. Very nice. Because yeah. um, I hate handhelds. <laughs> I don't. But the um, Game Boy Advance screen is so tiny these days compared to like the Switch or the DS. It's like. Oh, yeah, man, definitely. Yeah, it's so, like. Yeah, I, mean, I don't get me wrong. I mean, obviously, I, I caught a bit of the the zero emission streams, and you know, Game Boy games on big TVs, <laughs> not great. Must be said. <laughs> it didn't look the best, but they play good. Much better than looking at a tiny screen. Exactly. Yeah. Oh no, I I one hundred percent agree. Yeah. 
Um, other than that, um, I don't think what to play next. Oh yeah, I've got today, I've got the Zelda Skyward Sword HD, which I want to play next, I reckon. Cool. Uh, I've got the cool Steelbook as well, which is very nice. The pin Steelbook. <laughs> very nice. Very nice. <laughs> And also got the Amiibo. I was lucky enough to pre-order that before the Holy scalpers shit, got it. Holy shit, dude. You've got an Amiibo. Yeah, I know, right? Got in there just before the scalpers bought them all. The kids. Hopefully nobody knows but, where you live, because all those people are going to be like, busting the <laughs> door down. I know. Um, I don't know why I mean, Nintendo just don't make more. Why do you hate money? Yeah, people they're so these. popular. Just make them all. Like, yeah. How difficult can they be to manufacture? I know, right? Because I wasn't able to get the Metroid one, sadly. Um... So yeah, but I want the like I want like too many old ones. I want the Persona one. But I want the Metroid one. I want all this other stuff. But you don't make any more, the bastards. Yeah, because right. like you said, they just don't <laughs> like money. Yeah, they hate money, idiots. Uh, but I'm, I'm no way I'm going to eBay and pay like fifty quid for them. That's ridiculous. Nah, mental. Um, I want to get the, the like these Joy Cons, special edition Joy Cons. Uh, these ones, it's so pretty, but it's the like they're like sixty five quid. Like, ooh. Oh yeah, you know what? I saw them when I was uh, I was on a shop two this uh, this morning, yeah, um, and I saw them. I thought, oh, they're they're pretty cool. I don't need them, but they're cool. <laughs> yeah, they're so cool. I kind of want them, but then I never almost never use the Joy Cons. I'm always always on the Pro Controller. I will use them for Skyward Squad because I want to use the motion controls. Skyward Squad. Skyward Squad. <laughs> but yeah, you can use the motion controls at them, so I'll probably use that. It's like um, that bit in Aladdin. A hundred bad guys with squads. <laughs> uh, um, but yeah I think that's about it I was looking at other games to play on like on my backlog uh, I was going through my trophy list and I saw Titanfall 2 which I played oh, shit, ages yeah. ago and got the like model player trophies and stuff like that out of the way and I unlocked those in 2016 five years ago wow what the hell how has it been that long <laughs> also how have they not made another in that time I know obviously the same team um have done apex so yeah. obviously, you know apex legends has probably taken up a huge chunk of uh the time that it would you know usually take to to make titanfall i mean it's set in the same universe yeah i mean that's what they say i mean I don't know. <laughs> supposedly uh but yeah i want to play it because it's got a decent trophy list uh it's a fun game that's my yeah i want to go back and occasionally just play a game for myself that i haven't touched it's not long either it's not a long campaign yeah yeah and yeah, I, might, might I think there's only one real trophy that's bullshit, which is um, <laughs> like during the training stuff at the beginning. Yeah, that's one of the ones I got out of the way uh, first. Cause I was like, I want to get those out of the way first, and then I'll come back to it later. Mm. And then five years later, I might actually get back <laughs> to it. <laughs> God damn it, we're bringing other games out and stuff. I know, bastards. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that's about it, really. That's the games I've been playing. Uh, how about yourself? Um, so I got the platinum for Ratchet and Clank. Nice. Yay, I haven't got a soundboard up. Just... Why have you not got the soundboard up? Because I forgot. It's been a week. Oh, I've had a week off. I've forgotten. Hold on. One <laughs> week off and you just forget. Yeah, pretty much. Story of my life. Hold on. Uh, there we go. Whee! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Congrats. Uh, it was so good. Honestly, it was just an absolute pleasure to play and platinum and it was just it's just a great game really really nice. great game can't recommend it enough um i think it, it has overtaken returnal as the best game on the ps5 in my opinion but Very nice. you know i mean that's two real good quality exclusives this year oh yeah big time phenomenal stuff um highly recommend it definitely check it out um got a bunch of bullshit platinums that i don't, <laughs> not, don't need to talk about <laughs> Like in fact, I'm going to talk about them because going they're to talk absolutely about terrible. Yeah, right. right, there's a there's a group of games called like Breakthrough Arcade. Oh yeah. Um, then it's like some sort of Christian thing. <laughs> right. I'm not even joking. It's like <laughs> like all of these games, like none of them like are in any sort of way. It's not like you're Jesus or anything like that. You don't, <laughs> don't play, and, and if you do, Jesus is a stick man. Based on these games, <laughs> okay. Yeah. So basically, there's like breakthrough like skateboarding breakthrough baseball which is literally just a, a stick man with a glove you've got to catch the baseball 15 times the platinum trophy's yours <laughs> got to take yeah <laughs> um there's 79p each i think there's like 10 of them wow bargain um oh my god man they're so bad <laughs> like, I can't, yeah. like there is no quality control on the playstation at all none no. crazy Zero. isn't it Great. I mean, I don't mind it being on there, but why give them platinum trophies? I don't get it. 
because you know how much money you know realistically they're, they're going to make no one's going to buy these games without some sort of payoff That's it's not point. like the christian community is going to be like hey look we've we've got <laughs> some games coming out they're real good and if you buy them then Jesus, Jesus will be your friend yeah. or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, you know, the, you, you load the game up and if you don't press start to, like, start the game, then it'll, like, sh- have some Bible words. <laughs> right, okay. Bible words. God, honestly, God damn it, that's so bad. <laughs> um, I have done eight of them today, I think. Wow. <laughs> eight or one, eight or one day. That's impressive. <laughs> Yeah, but they take like five minutes. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> it's um, just so bad. Yeah. So, so <laughs> bad. Um, but they're there. Up with me at this point. Um, no, probably not. I mean, I've only got like, I've got 30-something Platinums. That's a lot. <laughs> I've Is been, it I've a been, lot? I've had PS3 since like launch day and I've, only, I've got 150. You have to start a new account and I've got 30. Yeah, <laughs> look at the shit comments. that I've played. <laughs> um, another one, Spectre Woods. Good God, uh, right? Yeah. I, I streamed I it on that. YouTube just the other day. Mm-hmm. Um, the stream, I'm looking at my phone now, was six minutes and 45 seconds long. <laughs> the game isn't even that long. That's with me talking and stuff before. <laughs> um, oh, it was, oh, God. It, there is just some complete nonsense on the PlayStation Store. And, you know, hey, look, I'm here for it. 79p, Platinum Trophies. Yeah. But they're still bullshit, and PlayStation really needs to sort themselves out. Yeah, definitely. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah Jesus man. died for our platinum trophies. Yeah. yeah. And <laughs> <laughs> I just I don't understand. That's that's another thing I don't really understand. Like the like the Christian stuff, like the the Bible, yeah. like messages in the game. I don't get it. I mean, I have I have no desire to go and pick up the Bible. <laughs> and scroll to whatever because no. I've got the platinum trophy for breakthrough arcade skateboarding. <laughs> That's a shame. Just absolutely not. Yeah, no. Um, so if I mean, if that's their, if that's the end game for them. They, uh, failed. they failed. Yeah, yeah, big time. It's not some. It's just a lot of brainwashing thing in there. I like, like flash it up every now and then. It's like, pray Jesus, <laughs> for like a millisecond. Hey, look, I, I would respect that. You know, yeah. I would respect that kind of shithousery uh, in these games. But it's just, they're just nothing games. They're just stick men games. Literally yeah. stick men games with some Bible quotation somewhere. <laughs> so random. But the worst of it is you can cheat. So, like, some of these games have cheat codes. Right, okay. When I say cheat codes, you press up and X on the title screen, and then you can't die, and you get the platinum even easier than you would already get it. <laughs> Bloody hell. <laughs> so if you're cheating on a Christian game, does that mean you're going to hell? I think so, yeah. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that's how it works. I think that's exactly how it works, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, that makes sense. It does. Maybe maybe they know, because like you, you know they've seen me play, oh, you know... You know this 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 is good. We're, we're we could be recruiting a new person to uh, to Christianity, and this guy's going to be religious now, probably. But from playing this uh, game where you catch a baseball, yeah, um, that's it. That's it. They're tracking it. Anyone who cheats, like right, straight to, straight to hell for you. you, cheat. Yeah, I mean, I have yeah. been getting a little bit warm today, actually. So maybe that's the uh, <laughs> oh my the, fi- that's the fires of hell being lit under me. Here it comes. Yeah, this is it. The end. The end. The end times. The apocalypse. Yeah. The end <laughs> is near. <laughs> Remember that on the WWF pay per views? Oh, oh yeah, Armageddon. yeah. Wow, yeah. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's that shit stuff that I've been playing to to get easy platinums. Been playing a lot of pairs. Um, been back into Resident Evil Village. I said I was going to save nice. it for the winter, but I thought I'd get back into it again because I've had a lot of time on my hands over the last few days, and I'm about halfway through it now, and it just rules. It's so awesome. good. Good stuff. It's everything that was great about Resident Evil 7, but, you know, greater and better looking. Made better. Yeah. Awesome. And with a giant lady. Yeah, yeah. With a giant lady. Giant vampire lady. She has with, um, uh, giant um, hands. Features, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how, how weird is it that people were, like, really obsessed with her? Um, well, it's the internet, you know. 
is this how these things go? You see a big, a big lady with big, you know, a big Hand. personality. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> and people just get attached, and then it becomes a meme, and then everyone loves it. Yeah, <laughs> it's weird though, right? It, it's kind of weird. Yeah, but it's weird. I'm kind of there with weird. them. Yeah, I mean, you're kind of there with them. What? Hmm? I know you're there with them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I've been playing that, and I've also been playing um, Formula One 2021, which came oh, out today. Nice. Uh, cool. Shout out to EA for sending that to me. Oh, cool! You nice people. It's EA. really good, yeah. Because obviously, Codemasters were bought by EA, mm. and Codemasters obviously these are the ones that make the game, and they still do make the game. Uh, but now, instead of it just saying Codemasters at the beginning, you have the EA Sports. It's in the game stuff. <laughs> you still and do that. Yeah, yeah, and then um, oh, it has Codemasters straight after it, and then um, it goes into the game. So it's it's really good, super polished. They put a story mode on there this time. Oh yeah, where you play as a character. I think it's probably to entice like new players in. You know, mm, definitely. Yeah, um, I, I would definitely prefer like a story mode rather than just like a simulation kind of. Yeah, because that's what that's what it usually is. Basically, you know, you play through a season and. You, you know, th- it's good because it is fairly accessible because you can play it as tough or as easy as it needs to be for your needs. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's really good. I've only played a, a short amount of the, the story so far, but uh, what I have played, I'm impressed with. The voice acting is okay. Yeah. Um, but, it, you know, yeah, it, it's what you would expect from a story game, story mode in a sports game. Cool. That's good. So, yeah. That's that. I much prefer these kind of games to have, you know, a point, <laughs> a story. Yeah. I mean, it's, you're going to be wrong. I'm all for a simulation. That's why, you know, I like playing pairs. I like playing FIFA and all that sort of stuff. But um, I think for games like this, to attract a wider audience, it's probably good to have um, like a story mode in. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much, uh, pretty much what I've been playing. Cool. Awesome. Yeah, man. Good, um, good stuff. Do we have any gaming news this week? Uh, we got a little bit, a little, little bit. bit, yeah. Uh, let's have a look. Oh yes, uh, so Dark Souls Three got a uh, sixty FPS patch on Xbox Series X slash S. Nice. Very jealous. Um, Just fucking buy one. No, <laughs> I've got a computer. I can play them all anyway. I can play at sixty FPS anyway, but I want. Are you nerd? Yeah, uh, I don't need one. I've got a computer. Blah, 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 blah. Yes, yes. So yes, don't be yes, jealous. Yes, Just play it on your computer and shut up. Okay, I want trophies though. I want platinum trophies. No, oh. no, you don't get trophies. Yes. You have to be a nerd on your PC. <laughs> That's fine. Oh yeah, speaking of Dark Souls, I was going to mention like a pet peeve of mine. Like, so I've got the Dark Souls trilogy um, okay. right here. It's very cool. You come to like this cool box. It looks like a like a book, I guess. Four three games in there. Mm. Um, very cool. It does have a little. Like little logo down there, which just kind of gets in the way. I thought, oh, that's all right. Just the games themselves don't use them because you know they're inside the thing. They're not for sale individually. Uh, until you pull them out, and you see they have all of them from every country ever, spawning <laughs> the entire look. Like why? <laughs> you got oh, that's Peggy, and then you got sixteen plus. I don't know what that one is. And you got the German one. Then I'm not sure what that one is either. And then you got I think it's Russian below there. It's like why do you need wow. all those? I just want a nice little box art. Um. Obviously, they tell all the games look the same, but nope, it's got all this shit on there. That's like, so stupid. Yeah, could, at least they could have put like a re- reversible cover on there, like some games do, but nope. Doesn't it even no, say at the bottom there, on the bar, not to be sold separately? Um, no, on the on the front, right at the bottom. Uh, no, that's some that's something else. <laughs> that's, oh, that's, that's, that's another else? that's another bloody age thing. Jeez, uh, why you ruined what it? What a waste! What a waste! <laughs> I know, right? It's just because they want to bloody tell it in all the countries and it can't be asked to make new ones. Ugh. Dicks. Anyway, that's my that yeah, of the day. Um, Play <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dark Souls, right. Um, oh, yeah, some bad news. Uh, it's very disappointing news for all of us. Okay. Uh, the Resident Evil multiplayer spin off Rebirth has been delayed until 2022. Oh, uh, what the fuck, man? I know. That's so disappointing. Can't believe it. No one cares about this. Did we speak about this? On the podcast, like uh, the, on the last podcast we did, I think we did actually. Yeah, <laughs> like, like no one, no one cares. It looks no, absolutely why, awful. Yeah, why bother? I mean, I played the beta; it was fine, but it's like no one's gonna. I'm not gonna go out and play it day one. It's like it doesn't need to exist. Just make more normal games. Yeah, they just <laughs> give it away with Resident Evil Eight anyway. 
Yeah, because I've I've got I've got the code for it because it came with with Village. Mm. But But I looked at it and went, "Oh, great!" I look forward to never redeeming that, and then just went on with my life. I know it's so weird. Like the other one, the last one they did didn't do well, and now they're doing another one which isn't going to do well because everyone already hates it, despite it not not already not being out yet. What was the last one they did? Um, what the hell was it called? Um, re- so I remember them bringing out the Umbrella Corps. Yeah, there's another one came with seven. Was a three? Oh, I can't remember. I think it was. Oh no, it's three remake. It was like, like a one versus four thing. One of you controls. Oh, like I the forgot monster. about that. Yeah, when one of you plays a mastermind spawning now. monsters. Oh yeah, it's it's done. It's been done for months. Uh, but yeah, one one of you controls the mastermind spawning zombies. Has to stop the good guys from like, getting to the end. That sounds shit. Now, yeah, it wasn't great. Just, just, just don't. <laughs> just focus on making the game that people want, mm. and don't That's... try and force multiplayer garbage down our throats that <laughs> nobody wants. No one. No one. Literally, no one. Bizarre. Wow. <laughs> I, I would, the only reason why it just ends up getting cancelled. <clears throat> yeah. I get a new, a new thing. That code I've got will become a uh, just so vintage. I'll be able to sell it on eBay <laughs> for a million pounds. <laughs> yeah. Oh, speaking of, there was like a, a sealed copy of Mario that sold for like, I feel like I'm out, an insane amount of money. I'll look it up now. Well, I saw um, I saw a TikTok um, of some guy who went to, you know, that show Porn Stars? Not like <laughs> yeah, Porn yeah. Hub, but like P-A-W-N. Porn. P-A-W-N. P-A-W-N, yeah. yeah. And he went to like one of these like auction places with a sealed copy of Mario from the NES. Now, yeah. I did see a story about Mario 64 selling for a shitload of money the other day as well. But this was like um, a really rare copy of Mario from the NES. It was like fully sealed um, and everything. And the guy was like, so how much do you want for it? And this guy just brazenly went, a million dollars. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's, 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 that's what this one says. Mario 64 game sells for a record-breaking $1.5 million at auction. But why? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what are you going to do with it? That's what yeah. I don't understand. Says the like, guy all... with toys in boxes behind him. But <laughs> I mean, I'm all for collecting things, but 1.5 million for Super Mario 64, a game you can find for like two quid on eBay. No, I get it. Like, why? <laughs> yeah, I don't get it. I, re- I really don't get it. But uh, um, I don't know. Just man. People, just maybe this is just a case of people having way too much money. <laughs> yeah. I mean, just, just buy a normal copy, wrap it in cling film, and there you go. Sealed. <laughs> Instead of 1.5 yeah, million. Wrap it, go down the co-op, buy <laughs> yeah. some co-op cling film, wrap that yeah. shit up. Yeah, there you go. It's all done. <laughs> Might yeah. do it on my me- copy of Metroid, I go. <laughs> yeah, do it. Yeah. You've put this here. podcast forever. <laughs> yeah. And there's another one that's the original Mario Bros. Um, uh, for the NES, like you just said, it's uh, it's all but $660,000. Which is, uh, I wonder if it's that same one. Maybe, yeah, maybe. Because this guy was like, he was like, oh, this is the, the highest grade version of this anywhere. And they had this guy come from some place uh, that rates video games and stuff like that. And they were like, yeah, this is like the highest grade, best quality thing we had come through um, our like certification pro- uh, <laughs> process or whatever. Yeah. That's somebody's job. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. Uh, you... uh, oh, yep, no scuffs on the corners. Mm. <laughs> oh, yep, no. <laughs> Made the point laugh. Mm. Like, how do they even check that the fucking game's in there? <laughs> I know, right? It could just be like a, a fake box and nothing inside it. Yeah, it could just be like a, a box. A... <laughs> oh, yep, it's really good. Don't want to shake it just in case. <laughs> but they shake it just to hear the game rattling around, and it just takes about $250,000 off it. Yeah, that's the thing. They're not paying for the game. They're paying for a bit of cardboard and some cling film. <laughs> Cling film. Yeah. Yeah. Why? I've got some uh, cheese and onion sandwiches that have not been opened. Uh, like I wrapped them and they're original cheese and onion sandwiches. Um, I would like $750,000, please. Starting bid. Well, yeah, that's a bargain. You know, you could have asked for a million, but well, you know, no, you went lower. No, I'm not bargain. greedy. Yeah. You know, my cheese and onion yeah. sandwiches, you know, they're original. I made them myself. Yeah. So hard work has got into it, as you know, as I'm sure you can imagine. <laughs> um, so I feel that seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars is is a really good starting point. It's respectable, yeah. I like that. I like that. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> don't shake good it because you know there's got some salad in there. I don't want it to fall out. You want, it yeah, decrease the, the value. 
Exactly. You don't want that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> cool. Um, <laughs> uh, funny. Um, so, um, so, so Nick, <laughs> got to laugh. Stop it. Uh, so, Nickelodeon All Star Brawl is a game that just. Oh, yeah. For, for yeah. Sake, I know. <laughs> it's a it's a smash for this game with Nintendo uh, Nintendo with uh, Nickelodeon. Why characters. do companies keep doing this? I don't know because the find popular thing they think oh we can do that and make a bunch of money. What popular character do we got? Oh Nickelodeon yeah let's let's, let's do that. Great let's yeah. have Nigel Thornbury versus <laughs> Chucky's dad from Rugrats. Yeah <laughs> yeah that's some you know just some nostalgic things in there. You got like, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in there. You got Powder Dose Man, <laughs> SpongeBob guys, um, Hey Arnold guys, you know. Is so been... Clarissa from Clarissa Explains It All in there? <laughs> Hasn't been announced yet, but you never know. You never Keenan know. Keenan and Kel DLC. <laughs> Keenan and Kel, that'd be amazing. I'd buy it if the Keenan and Kel was in it. Yeah, if Keenan and Kel DLC is a real thing for um, Nickelodeon Brothers or whatever, <laughs> um, <laughs> Super Nickelodeon then Brothers, yeah. I'm here for it. Kel's like one of his special moves is throwing orange soda at somebody. <laughs> that would be amazing. I want that game to exist. Now, if this isn't a thing, and it would be instantly way more popular if it was, <laughs> the question is, why are we not being employed to advise on these things? <laughs> All right, Nickelodeon, hit us up. Come on. Yeah. It if I remember rightly, money. on the opening credits of Clarissa Explains It All, she does like a roundhouse kick to the dude who used to climb through her window, which now is weird. No, <laughs> but, but it was like I remember like, the ladder used to smash against the window. And it'd be like a oh, little yeah. guitar if like meow, 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 and then like Sam or whatever his fucking name was. I think it was Sam. <laughs> like climbs in her window. And it's like no, you can't do that shit now. No, that's you know creepy. Yeah. <laughs> so you know if they have Clarissa from Clarissa Explains It All, which is obviously Melissa Joan Hart, um, you know have a have the roundhouse kick to Sam or whatever his name is. Hell yeah. <laughs> Of sister, sister. Oh god, yeah. Sister, sister. Heaven, 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 heaven. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> Classic Nickelodeon. See, uh, Nickelodeon was so good back in the day. Like uh, Doug, Doug was Nickelodeon, right? Yeah, Doug was Nickelodeon. That was Doug, cool. right? Yeah, that was the one. Yeah. Remember his friend who was like blue, Skeeter. Skeeter, yeah, yeah, I remember them. Why the fuck was he blue? <laughs> yeah, who knows. Cartoons. Well, yeah, I suppose. I don't even know why <laughs> we're questioning the, the the integrity of Doug. Great show. Yeah, great show. This is the stuff we grew up with. The old bogeys like us. That's what we. That's what we had. Yeah, this, no, no Fortnite. You, you can catch Sunny versus Finn on Nickelodeon <laughs> All Stars Brawl or whatever it's called. <laughs> we, should, we should actually do that. That would be amazing. Keenan and Cal DLC. Yeah, Keenan and Cal. <laughs> it actually <laughs> looks all right. To be fair, this, you know, it's spent some effort into it. But literally, it literally is Smash Brothers. The copy, literally everything. Even like when he character goes off screen, he does a little. Even that's the same. Yeah, it's like that PlayStation like, one that came out that time. PlayStation All Stars <laughs> Battle Royal. Oh yeah, that was bad. That was not, you, that was not a good game. Then there's that there's that free to play one as well. That's like a Smash Brothers clone as well. What the hell is it called? Because oh. um, that has like uh, Brawlhalla. It's a Ubisoft oh, yeah. one. It's free to play, and that is essentially Smash Brothers as well. Yeah, it's got like a lot With of indie characters in it, isn't it? It's got a shitload of paid DLC. Like it's got WWE yeah. on it and stuff. Oh really? Wow. Yeah. Huh. You have Instant. like John Cena and Becky Lynch and stuff like that on it. Nice. That's cool. <laughs> if you want to pay money for it. Yeah, which I don't. No. Uh, <laughs> Nobody does. That's why no one ever talks about that game. Yeah, pretty much. Shame. Uh, cool. So uh, August August's first PS Plus game has been confirmed. Nice and early. Mm. Uh, it's a game called Hunters Arena Legends. You know the Ooh, one. That sounds awful. Yeah, it's one people have been excited for. That's too many um, words. Too many words in the um, in the title. Yeah, why 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 the legend on the end? You don't need that. Hunters yeah, Arena Legends. It's like has there been has there been a hunter? What what's it called? Hunters Arena Legends. Right. Has there been a Hunters Arena Amateurs? <laughs> I don't believe so. No. Right. So why are they legends? Just Hunters Arena would have been good enough. Exactly. I don't, a lot of games do that, don't they? Like an add a pointless subtitle on it. It's mm-hmm. like no, just why. <laughs> yeah, what is legendary about it? Yeah, well, apparently it is a 30-player combat-based battle royale uh, set in ancient Asia. You play as a hunter who must use sword play and martial arts to hunt down demons and rival hunters. The game features two types of battle royale modes, solo and trios, like oh. every other battle royale game. <laughs> yeah. uh, 
We're the really format. pushing the bar there. Yeah, they really are. Uh, the format is described as a 30-player free-for-all, while the latter lets you team up with two other players to take down demons together. Ooh. Great. Um, it's good that they explain what trios was, because I was a little bit confused. Yeah, me too. I hope they don't uh, bring duos in and really fuck things up. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's gonna. That's. I mean, it has to be free, otherwise no one will play it. So <laughs> that's so true. <laughs> yeah, no, nobody's seen a trailer for Hunter Arena, Hunter's Arena Legends, and thinking <laughs> I'm gonna drop seventy quid on that. Yeah, not so much. <laughs> nobody's uh, paying over a million dollars for a sealed copy of Hunter's Arena Legends. <laughs> no, no, I don't know. You never, you never know. People are weird. <laughs> yeah, true they are. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, it's about all the biggest gaming news. We call anything all the big. Uh, it's important about the 16 news. It's going to skip GDS, but it is getting there. Voice recording for the English version is almost complete. Mm. Uh, the story is done. And it's going to, you know, you're going to be showing off more soon. So, God, soon. soon. Oh, can you pull this up? Actually, I don't know if you saw it or not, but um, I think it's called Steam Deck. Oh, yeah, the Steam Deck. I was going to talk about that. Um, yeah, it's like a handheld, it's like a Switch, but it's like a handheld mini PC. Yeah. Um, it looks alright, expensive, like 400 quid. I don't like where the PC. sticks are positioned. Yeah, because like up on the top, aren't they? You have to hold it a bit like, like that. Yeah, I mm. don't like that. Do it, just yeah, copy it. Just co- the, the idea is essentially the Switch anyway, so just fucking copy it. <laughs> yes. Just copy uh, where the sticks go, no one cares. Yeah, let me find it a picture. Nintendo care, Nintendo care, oh, I'm wrong. Well, that's a good point, I'll, you know, they'll sue because they're not in there. <laughs> uh, image. Boop, do. But it looks fancy. It's got like some touchpad stuff on it. I don't really understand. Is that like a mouse pad? Like, you know, call me thick if that's not what it is, but. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I don't really have to look into it too much, to be fair. Um, but yeah, I think it's just like little, little mouse, I don't know, like touch thingies. A bit like, I guess like the PS4 touchpad. A bit like that, I guess. Just in an awkward place. Just in a weird place, yeah. That's not you a can al- cause You can also use like third party controllers on it as well. Yeah, you can install Windows on it, which is pretty cool. I think it's most, you know, what most people are excited about. Because if you can install Windows, you can install like emulators and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I'll try a picture of it. Yeah, it seems pretty cool. I mean, what is it? Like, it was advertised at like $475, so whatever that is in pounds. Ching. There it is. Um, yeah, it looks, I mean, right. it looks nice, man. It does. But I don't like, like, the, the stick position. It's just weird to me. Yeah. I don't, I don't know why they bothered with the touchpads. It seems a bit pointless. Yeah, move one of the touchpads up and move that stick down. Yeah. Instantly a better design. Very strange. The buttons are right at the top as well. Yeah, yeah. that's weird. But there's like there's loads of triggers at the back also. Yeah, there's like extra extra yeah, triggers. Mm. Hmm. I don't think you can customise to do whatever you want. A bit like the Xbox fancy Xbox controller. <laughs> yeah, the like the million pound Xbox controller. <laughs> yeah. The um, elite. But- yeah, the volume is is not gonna play next gen games and um, particularly well because it's tiny. Um, but so yeah, it's more of a more of a low budget PC thing for maybe last gen games. I don't yeah, know. it's a it's a weird one. Um, I mean, you know, one of the examples of the game you could play Portal Two at sixty FPS. Great, Portal Two came out the gen before last. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Which is fine. yeah, so I guess if you just want to play all the games on it and we'll like play with emulators and stuff like that, it's a yeah, cool little machine. It's a cool idea. I think it'll bomb though. Yeah, I can't see it doing. The Steam always um, tried different things. They came out with a controller a little while ago. Actually, I have one somewhere. Um, but instead of analog sticks, I've got one analog stick. On the other side, I've got like a touchpad, mm. which is supposed to be as super accurate as accurate as a mouse. Um, it's not. <laughs> it was a bit pants. Um, yeah, it's supposed to be dark the next big step of controllers and it just wasn't very good. I think I remember seeing that. I think did games sell it? Um yeah, I think you can buy them online, I have it. What is it? Hold on. Let's we'll find it. It's on my desk somewhere. Here it is. It was such a At least they're trying new things, I suppose, you know? I mean, the dust, Jesus Christ. Fault them for that. Yeah. Dust. Wow, dust. Yeah, that's how long I've been wow, so used. What that. a there weird contraption. Very strange. So you got the one analog stick. Yeah. And the weird touch about over here. I don't know why they couldn't just add a second analog stick and have this as well. Like, give it the choice. Yeah. You've got two fluffy uh, paddles on the pack. Was there some like TV link thing that came with that? Uh, yeah, the Steam Link. Yeah, so you can play. Um, so you can beam your PC over to your TV and uh, play games from that. Um, like wirelessly, which is pretty cool. Cool idea. 
Not wireless TV, you have to connect it to the TV, obviously, but... Yeah. It's a decent idea. But, Fair again, it did, you can just plug it... You know, use the HDMI cable and plug it in, that's all I've done now. It just works totally, as well. Just totally bombed. Yeah. I think there were some issues with it, I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember exactly what it was, but it didn't do well. So, yeah, it's the same. Yeah. Unlucky, I guess. Yeah. Steam. Hey, but look, fair play to you if you've got money to just waste on doing these <laughs> things. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Um, Action Arcade Wrestling is finally coming out. It used to be the uh, Chikara yeah. Pro game before Chikara Pro was no longer a thing. That's the one. Um, it's coming out August 10th, so not that far away, really. Hmm. Yeah, about the month or so. Yeah, and there's a... Um, there is a a trailer and stuff you can see online like a console announced trailer uh for it finally coming out but it looks nice. good looks, looks good fun cool yeah nice arcade wrestling game yeah i'll definitely yeah. try it out Internet. well i love yeah, a wrestling you... game anyway but yeah. obviously hence the name of this podcast but um mm-hmm. yeah i think uh, i think that's gonna be good good fun it's something i'll definitely check out yeah same here nice button mashy arcade wrestling game can't say no no See, those games, they're not your strong suit, I feel. What, but mash, <laughs> but matching games? Yeah. I oh, feel no. like you've got a bit more finesse about you than maybe I have. <laughs> Although, <laughs> I, know, I, maybe. I think um, maybe if it's too technical, it's a bit much for you, like Fire Pro. Yeah, I, don't, I like Fire Pro. Fire is great. You're just trying it's to get into it. it. takes like Yeah, it takes a lot of practice <laughs> to get into it. It's like, oh, you don't have time for this. It's a great game, though. Yeah. We had a great matches on it the last time we were together. We really did, yeah. I'm looking forward yeah. to more of that SummerSlam weekend, for sure. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah, man. Definitely. Exciting. Right. Yeah. Um, okay, is that it for gaming news? Uh, I think so. Thanks for the biggest news, I reckon. Cool. We're just flying through this podcast this week. We are. We're We've it. gone off the rails a little bit as well, I think. <laughs> yeah, that's what, that's, that's what the people like, though. It's good. That is off what the, the people like. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, oh, right. So, um, fans come back to WWE this week. Yay. Good. Starting tonight with SmackDown. Yeah. Um, I'm, yeah, I am, you know, I really am. I think I'm, I'm, I'm sort of hoping that WWE, you know, is going to start getting better now that we are with fans coming back because, you, you know, they've <laughs> not had the like reaction of a live crowd for well over a year now. Yeah. Um, so some of the stuff that they've been doing may work, may not work. It's going to be very interesting, I think, to see the reaction of Roman Reigns when he comes out. I think they'll cheer him. <laughs> yeah, me too. Uh, very interesting. I know they did uh, WrestleMania. They didn't. It was kind of. I think they booed him at WrestleMania, didn't they? I can't remember. Yeah. I don't know. Either way, it'll be cool. It'd be cool to hear that people's natural reactions rather than you know fake crowd noise. Yeah. People being told to just hold to like put their thumbs down and stuff like literally yeah. like what me and you are doing now, but like <laughs> yeah. in a massive Ooh. arena. Yay. Yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> I thought you see they announced Goldberg coming back again to do some bollocks. Uh, I did see that. Has it been officially yeah. announced? I saw it was rumored last night. I think so. It might have just been a rumor. I can't remember, but no, what? Vince, no, stop it. <laughs> he's going to get booed. People that aren't going to like him. Nobody I mean, he's going to be. Um, I would imagine he's going to be. Feuding with Lashley, yeah, I guess. What? Why does Goldberg get to just walk in and have a title shot? I'm assuming that's what it's going to be. I mean, you know, that is an assumption, but probably. But that's uh, what yeah, it's going to be, right? Probably. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but yeah, I don't get why they keep bringing him back. Oh, joking to death. Oh. It's because he. <laughs> it's because he's super popular, Finn. That's why. <laughs> I guess so. Yeah, you know this, <laughs> and I know this. Yeah, I'm not so sure who he's popular with, but there must be a demographic out there that is really into Goldberg. <laughs> I guess so, but it's like even the nostalgic, like us, we're nostalgic, but like Goldberg and guys like that. Even we stop caring. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, when he first came back, and it was like he was, you know, worried that people had forgot him and all that sort of stuff. It's <laughs> like, okay, this is cool. You know, the guy seems pretty genuine, pretty excited to be back in front of a live crowd again. But then they just did it to death. Yeah, it's like we are. You know, we're the guys. We're the we're the target for this. They want us. People like us, the people who grew up with the stuff, to watch it. And we're like, yeah. no, we don't want this. <laughs> Go away, because kids aren't going to know who he is. Some old fart. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's like, why? Why? What's the point? Yeah. Rack Brock with this ponytail. I mean, his son's probably old enough now to do be wrestling. So maybe we could get uh, Goldberg and his son, who 
for some reason just always had his top off in the crowd versus <laughs> um, Ray and Dominic Mysterio. Yeah, why not? Five on ten, best five on ten. Yeah, why not? <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! Um, so Raw was okay this week. Yeah, it was actually pretty decent. Yeah. You had Ricochet and John Morrison doing absolutely ridiculous things to one another. There's oh, Ricochet so flying off the uh, the ring post onto John Morrison through a table. And he also did uh, a really cool-looking shooting star press. Yeah, Ricochet is insane. I love, it's, it's crazy. I love him. I want, he's I want, got crazy chemistry. Yeah, it's so good. I like love seeing John Morrison be able to do these kind of matches. Yeah, um, me too. And yeah. also Ricochet just being Ricochet. Yeah, exactly, yeah. It's Let him go so out good. there and do Ricochet things. And flippy shit, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's that, the that, shit that we want. Yeah, like a cross body onto John Morrison, I just think, on the barricade. That was awesome. Yep. That was awesome. Yeah. Shooting star press to the outside of the ring. Awesome. So good. All the More other good. crazy stuff they did. Awesome. Yeah, Money Banks has the potential to be amazing. The match itself. It really does, yeah. It, yeah. Do, it does have potential to be really good. Um... You know, the only disappointing person in that match probably is Drew McIntyre. And again, yeah. it feels like I'm berating Drew McIntyre here, but I don't mean it in like a derogatory way. I mean, it. Oh, in no. a, you know, we've we've had it for a, over a year now. He's been the main focus on Raw. You know, every single Raw started with Drew McIntyre and probably had three or four Drew McIntyre segments during the course of the show. Yeah. So, just, you know, forgive us that. if we want a break. Yeah. No, I'd be mean, like Drew McIntyre. Um, I just said, but uh, no, he's been champion during this whole thing in the, you know, the main event. It's time for him to step down. Let someone else have a go. Why he future Jinder or someone? Well, yeah, I mean, I don't think he's going to win at Money in the Bank because I think he, okay. um, like, the feud with Jinder will just carry on. Yeah, I reckon Jinder runs down the cost of one, maybe. Yeah, I can see that. Stabs yeah. him with his, with his sword or runs him over <laughs> with his motorbike. Yeah. <laughs> Because <laughs> that's what they're feuding over, uh, right? So, you know, exactly, you take yeah, my sword, I will break your motorbike. <laughs> yeah. Makes sense. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, Bobby Lashley lost to Xavier Woods on Raw. Yeah, that's cool. It's cool to see Woods getting some exposure. Yeah, really good. Woods is, you know, I've said it before, but underrated. Great yeah. personality, great, you know, in skills. Yeah, he yeah. deserves what he's getting right now. Good, solid porn actor. Yeah. For <laughs> them. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, um, so yeah Lashley wasn't very happy about that and he said swear words on Raw he said the know, word right? bullshit and there he uh-huh. is saying bullshit to MVP naughty so I don't want champagne anymore don't want leather seats don't want Ikea tables or mm-hmm. you know wrestlers who are pretending to be women that care about me mm-hmm. um, oh do you see that yeah. one of the one of the ladies is also oh, I think it's on the on AEW so yes, she, same night. She yeah, appeared on both <laughs> both uh, shows on the same night, which is pretty cool. Yeah, that's her <laughs> fucked. That's that's her never <laughs> seen again. Yeah, yeah pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh man. So yeah, lastly, uh, he flipped out. Yeah, he, go, this, he picked up and threw a sofa. Like Jesus Christ, strong man. Lastly, is <laughs> the kind of guy that you want to help you move house. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, move the sofa, no problem. Yeah. yeah. Perfect, yeah, it's like throws it right into place in where you want it in the living room. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. There you go. <laughs> Picks up your t- coffee table like a frisbee and just like flings it into your living room. Yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> so yeah, man, I, th- yeah, I thought Raw was okay leading into um, Money in the Bank this Sunday. Obviously, there was uh, Charlotte Flair. Um, she came <laughs> back and... Yep. Um, <laughs> Yeah, she was there. She ran down and attacked um, <laughs> Rhea uh, Ripley. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even sorry. I just don't care. <laughs> <laughs> it's never going away, Finn. Ever. No, it's, it's fine. It's too perfect. It is pretty perfect. It's really perfect. So, yeah. So, <laughs> so that's... Yeah, Money in the Bank should be pretty good, I think. Yeah, obviously we're getting Rhea Ripley versus Charlotte Flair again. Um, I think maybe this time Charlotte actually wins. Yeah, maybe. Don't want maybe. to, but she will. Yeah, but we're not going to do Money in the Bank predictions on this podcast. We're going to save it for the live show Sunday night. Yeah. So we'll do live at probably nine PM. That sounds good. So check that out on Makes YouTube, sense. Facebook, and wherever else. We'll advertise it. Yeah. 
everywhere. Um, yeah, for sure. Riddle is continuously one of my favourite parts of Raw at the minute. Yep, same here. It's great. He's just super funny all the time. Um, <laughs> here's a picture. Of- <laughs> <laughs> um, what a weird picture, by the way. <laughs> this is yeah, what Seth Rollins thinks uh, of that picture. Yep. <laughs> definitely an interesting uh, <laughs> facial expression he's got going on there. Yeah, it's a it's, it's definitely an interesting one. <laughs> but I yeah I'm I'm still slowly you know getting back into Raw a little bit. I think it's uh, it's picking up. Hopefully with the yeah, return of fans, um, you know it's going to start getting a bit better. Yes, hopefully. I mean, it looks like they're, they're trying to bring new people up. You know, they're trying to push or push new people is what I should say there. Um, yeah. Obviously, uh, um, I don't know if you saw this, but Mandy Rose has been traded to NXT. Yeah, I saw it. I saw that. What's NXT? Yeah, um, um, there she is at NXT, watching. Cool, interesting, interesting move. She was watching the match between uh, Sarai and um, I think it's Gigi Godin. Is that her name? Yeah, I think so. She was like that. Uh, she was. Um, oh, God damn it! What was her name? Because she was on. She was on AEW. Uh, oh. I can't remember her name, but um, I'm not sure. Yeah, so she's been traded for Aaliyah. Yeah, that's cool. Good to see Aaliyah move up. Um, many bother missed and broke up two women's tag teams at the same time. <laughs> Which is because, you know, we we got too many of them, I guess. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. I mean, why not? Uh, way too yeah, many women's weird. tag teams. But, you know, it's fine. I'll make more. Yeah, um, sure. They'll make more. Um, Aaliyah oh. obviously beat the shit out of Robert Stone. <laughs> yeah, that's very funny. <laughs> I don't understand why they don't have Robert Stone actually wrestle because... Yeah. You know, when he was in Impact, he was a wrestler. Yeah, I don't know. It's strange. I guess he, you know, he plays it well, well as a manager. He does so. play that role well, but it never seems to go well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I guess there's now, but now he's a comedy actor, but maybe in the future we'll see him wrestle. Maybe. He's been there like two Hopefully. years now. Has he? Wow. I f- it feels that long, at least. Yeah. He was definitely there p- pre COVID, wasn't he? Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. Wow. Mm. Yeah, man. Time, flies. Time flies. Mental. Yep. <laughs> um, NXT breakout tournament started this week. Uh, yeah. Duke Hudson um, beat uh, Ikeman Hero. Yes. The, uh, Duke Hudson, so much potential. Um, reminds me a lot of the Wade Barrett. He uses the same finisher as well. The boss man slam. Um, yeah. Nice. And yeah. Yeah. Very cool. I like him a lot. I like um, Jiro as well. He was very entertaining. Wrestling in his jacket. I like his jacket, yeah. Yeah, very cool. So yeah, I think those cool. those are the two that pulled, that caught my eye the most out of all of them. Yeah, definitely. I think Duke Hudson's got a lot of uh, a lot of potential to go far. Yeah, absolutely. He's got the look. Um, but I, I like the breakout tournament. I think it's good. It's a good way to introduce new people instead of just sort of, you know, sneaking them in there. Yeah, it's good. It's like what classic NXT probably should have been. <laughs> um, instead of being well, like a game show. Doing, oh god. God damn it, man. Yeah, terrible. Um, show. But yeah, I like it. Like last year was really good. We had like guys like Bronson Reed, um Cameron Grimes come in, guys like that. We did really yeah. well. So yeah. I'll have a day back. Uh, I'm just trying to find because it's bothering me what the name <laughs> of Ah, she was Priscilla Kelly. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh Gigi Dolin. There we go. That's what her name is. Cool. Right, yeah, she she was uh, Priscilla Kelly uh, when during her AEW time, which wasn't that long, really. Yeah, cool. Yeah, cool. Um, so Pete Dunn versus Timothy Thatcher is going to happen. Nice, that's going to be amazing. Put them in the fight pit, please, because that is such a cool gimmick match. Yeah, <laughs> that yeah, that needs that would be so good. I need that. Yeah, just just do that. That'd be absolutely amazing. Yep. Uh, the Samoa Joe tease has continued this week as well. Uh, the him Ooh, and Pete yes. Dunn faced off backstage once again. And he also sort of faced off with Adam Cole when he was on his way uh, to the ring. Yep. To officiate the match between Karrion Cross and Johnny Gargano, which, by the way, was absolutely awesome. Yeah, so good. I expected Johnny to win because because we've seen you know, teases of Karrion Cross going to the main roster. Yeah. Um, but no, he retained. Good. And yeah, then he, for now. For now. And then he killed Samoa Joe. He did. Yeah, there he is. Him. Rip. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think it's why he holds his head like that when he does the thing. That's yeah, weird. I like that as well. Um, yeah. I think that's really cool. Must be some sort of like actual technique. I don't know. I guess so. Yeah. 
Weird. not being an actual <laughs> martial artist myself. I guess a bit more pressure because you're probably a bit, I don't know. I'm not a wrestler. Maybe. <laughs> we probably sound like just fucking idiots right now. Yeah, pretty much. Um, Ma- martial I- arts people are going to listen to this podcast and be like, Jesus Christ, lad, stick to watching <laughs> fake fighting for fuck's sake. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, on a side note, I really hope they keep uh, Scarlet with Karrion Gross when he goes up. Because they said it's a good duo. I don't what think they will. <laughs> um, oh, man. And I guess he's a wrestler and he wants to wrestle. Yeah, excuse me, Christ. Um, <laughs> that's just a, <laughs> such a good duo. Yeah, so good. I agree totally. Um, I think what's going to happen is Samoa Joe's probably going to take the belt. I think we're going to get that. We, we are going to get it, aren't we? Surely. Joe's, Joe's getting physical now. Um, more so than we've seen him do in you know, a long, long time. Um, you know, and obviously he took the finisher from carrying Cross this week on NXT. So I think... Um, we, we are going to get Cross versus Samoa Joe for the NXT Championship. Probably SummerSlam weekend takeover. Mm. That'd be awesome. Yep. Uh, Joe wins. Cross goes to the main roster. Sounds good to me. Yeah, me too. I'm down with that. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I'm all, all the down with that. Um, and then, you know, look at all these matches that you can have with Samoa Joe. Obviously, we need to yeah. finish the feud between Scarlet and Samoa Joe. So they need to have a match <laughs> before Scarlet goes to the main roster. <laughs> But well, there's just so much potential. Yeah. Like Adam Cole, really Pete Dunn. Oh, my God. It's just... So many dream matches right there. Yeah. Like, it's it's going to be amazing. Again. Why not? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Samoa yeah. Joe's in the right place. Yeah, absolutely. 100%, yeah, 100% Joe's in the right place. Um, yeah, so NXT was good again this week. Uh, it's getting back to a real consistent level at the minute. Yeah. Uh, speaking of consistency, AEW is knocking it out of the park on a weekly basis at the minute. Awesome. Um, Malachi Black, formerly Alistair Black, formerly Tommy End. <laughs> yeah. So uh, Malachi, Tommy Black End. <laughs> <laughs> That's him. Yeah. <laughs> Here he is smiling. What I appreciate with Ooh. this is the fact that he's continuing the I loss gimmick. Yeah, yeah. I like it. Alistair Black is great. Like, or Malachi Black, or Tommy End. He's great. I love him. <laughs> it's, it's Malachi. Malachi, Malachi Tommy, Tommy Black, End. End. Black End. That's the one. <laughs> uh, yeah, he, he deserves it. He's never been released in the, from the movie in the first place, but this is, you know, a great place for him. I think if they hadn't fucked his 90 day no compete up, he might. they might have tried to re sign him. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. But nope. But they're done. They it. Yep. I'm sure Good whoever made that admin error is gone now. <laughs> no doubt. Yep. Released not because You're of budget fine. cuts, because of fucking up. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that's cool, man. I mean, last week, obviously, you came into Dynamite and kicked Arn Anderson's face off wearing work shoes and did the same <laughs> with Cody. And this week, they're obviously going to fight very soon. Yep. And I'm here for it. And uh, Malachi, Malachi, Tommy Blackend needs to win. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. If Cody, Cody wins, I'm just, it's, no. Yeah, just, just no. No. Um, Darby Allen took on All Ego Ethan Page in a coffee match is how nice. the end of that match started <laughs> nice by doing a coffin drop into a coffin, in coffin. and there's how it ended crash <laughs> right it's ended instantly right <laughs> so there we go cool um, All Ego Ethan Page is alive and well he he tweeted that's right then he didn't want to talk about it so <laughs> <laughs> uh. um, Ricky Starks as is the FTW champion now. Right. Okay. Um, and Brian Cage is no longer a member of Team Taz. Ah. Uh, excommunicated. So, Wait. Yep. Excommunicated. That, that's, you know what? They were the words I was looking for. Couldn't think. I'm just like, he's just not in there anymore. Yeah. <laughs> cool. So Ricky Starks is really cool. Glad to see he bounced back from injury very quickly. Brian Cage is going to be an absolute uh, <clears throat> quote unquote machine now that he's on his own. <laughs> yeah. He's going to be a monster. <laughs> yep. Um, John Moxley successfully defended the IWGP United States Heavyweight Championship. Cool, um, cool doing that in AEW. Yep, successfully defended that against uh, the Machine Gun Carl Anderson. Nice, I like it. Yeah, me too. And he's going to be defending it again next week as well. I did see his opponent, but I've forgotten. <laughs> Fair play. Um, so that's cool. Also, they're heavily teasing um, Hangman Adam Page, who is over as hell, by the way. <laughs> yep. 
Um, it's going to take the, he's going to sort of challenge Kenny Omega uh, for the AEW World Heavyweight Championship at some point. Uh, but AEW man, since they've gone back in front of crowds, it's just been they've been knocking it out of the park. Awesome. I mean, just consistently. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. It's just uh, it's so good. Look, you can watch it for free. You're like, just watch it on ITV <laughs> Hub. You got ITV Hub. Everyone has. I know. Quit fucking I'm around. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I know, but I just oh, duh. video games. I know, I know. <laughs> I get it. And they've got Raw and SmackDown and NXT. Excuse me. I, I get it. Raw, but come on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a WWE guy. I can't help it. No, that's fine. Hey, look, there's nothing <laughs> wrong with that. I'll, watch, to... I'll watch it one day. I'll get one into day. it one day. Yeah. Yeah. Like if, yeah. It, when it's on the WWE network and he'd be like, remember <laughs> yeah. AEW? That was great. Yeah, yeah once Vince buys them all and yeah. <laughs> I'm joking, AEW marks, by the way. Don't fucking. Yeah, it, that, that won't happen. Yeah. No, no. That was not going to happen. AEW is going to be around for a long, long time. Mm-hmm. I mean, Jesus Christ, if Impact can survive um, longer than, w- than WCW was ever around, yeah, then there you um, go. I think um, AEW is going to be safe. Yeah, definitely. Um, SmackDown was pretty good tonight. The fans are in for a treat. So um, Bianca Belair is defending the SmackDown Women's Championship against Carmella. Nice. We have a fatal four-way between the SmackDown Money in the Bank competitors, Big E, Kevin Owens, King, Shinsuke Nakamura, and Seth Rollins in a fatal four-way. That's going to be cool, man. That's going to be really good. Yep, so good. And we've got a six-man tag team match, which looks tasty as well. Um, Edge, looking older by the week, by the way. Um, Okay. (laughs) And yep. Ray and Dominic Mysterio taking on uh, Oos, brother Oos, cousin Oos, um, family the family Oos. Oos, Roman Reigns, the Universal Champion, and uh, the Usos. Yeah, one of whom got arrested for being an idiot. Drink again. driving. Yeah, again, good job, idiot. Yeah, but he's not going to get in trouble. <laughs> They're not taking any, uh, not taking any action against him. Yeah, not yet. Anyway, um, I would thought no, they're, they're just, they're just not. <laughs> yeah, I guess not. I would thought. I kind of hoping they bring it as part of the story. You know, bring it in. It's like, oh, you got arrested, idiot. Uh, Roman Reigns, get at the table. You got arrested. You want to... <laughs> 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 he's, he's, Roman Reigns talks really quiet. <laughs> he's like, what? <laughs> yeah, he's what got to step in. He's, I think it works in front of no one. Yeah. <laughs> but now, you know, he's going to actually have to speak into the microphone properly. <laughs> it's yeah. yeah. I'm talking like this and... Uh... You know, you're letting me down, head of the table, and uh, <laughs> I just, I just totally whispering into the yeah. microphones that they that they give him. I think it's um, they're going to have to either that or Paul Heyman's going to have to start speaking on his behalf again. Yeah, just, just yeah, I've been repeat what I've been saying, just louder. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 yeah. The thing is, if he sp- says it louder, I don't think it has the same effect. Probably not. Yeah, it's a good point. Let's get it. just turn up the volume on the microphones. It'll be good. Yeah, good shout. <laughs> so you can really, you can just speak like this into a microphone, and you know people will be able to hear him. Oos brother, Oos cousin, Oos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I oh, speak of the money um, in the bank, by the way. And then Carmella, I watched um, WWE put like a every woman's cash in thing. Carmella's <laughs> uh, the referee went to cash it in. Uh, I think it's Mike Mike Chioda. <laughs> looking at looking at the briefcase like what? Want to cash it in now? The briefcase? Want to cash it in? He looks so confused. Like cash it in now? The brief? You want to cash it now? What do you want to do? The briefcase? What? <laughs> It took, it took him so long to actually cash in. He's like so confused. Like, what? Briefcase? What? Money to the bank? What? Money, like, this gimmick's been around for years, Mike. <laughs> yeah. He's just so confused. It's she's handing it to you. She's nodding <laughs> with it in approval. She wants <laughs> to cash in. Yeah, screaming at him. I want to cash in. He's like, what? Money to what? Money to what? Right now? The, the cash back cash in the briefcase now? <laughs> <laughs> there's, money in, there's money in here? <laughs> no, no, there's not money in there. The bank? You want to go to the bank? No. This briefcase. <laughs> <laughs> So she had to sing the Money in the Bank theme song. Money, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. money, money, money. money. <laughs> oh, that money. right, got you. Oh, Money in the Bank. Why don't you just say so? <laughs> uh... That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Impact have got a pay-per-view this weekend, Slammiversary. Expect nice. um, former WWE employees to turn up. Yeah, probably. The honor Perazzo um, doesn't have an opponent mm. or a challenger for the Women's Championship. Um, so I expect that that's going to be an ex WWE employee, and Matt Cardona is in a, involved in a mixed tag team match with Kurt mm. Hawkins and Emma. I think it's Kurt Hawkins, um, and he hasn't got a, a partner. I wonder who that could oh. be. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> if fresh. only his partner was a wrestler. 
Mm. In fact, I don't even know if she's <laughs> cleared because um, obviously we're talking about Chelsea Green. Chelsea Green um, entered herself into the Ring of Honor women's division. Oh, right. Okay. Um, they're they're like, having a tournament. Maria Canellis announced it all. And WWE, uh, from what I've read, waived her no complete no compete clause so that she could turn up and do that. Nice. So, but I, you know, it makes perfect sense for it to be Chelsea Green as Matt Cardona's partner, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so also I, lucky guy. If, she, if she's cleared, I fully expected to be her because otherwise, don't have this match. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, it could, I you know, Ru- you know, you could have Ruby Riot. You know, she could turn up. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> it was, it was I, 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 but yeah, yeah, I, um, yeah. I expect just like last year's slam anniversary, I expect many people to uh, to to debut for Impact Wrestling who used to work for WWE. Um, yeah. You know, the Iconics are free now. I don't think they'll go Impact. I think they'll go to AEW personally. Hmm. I mean, they, they, you know what? They could that? go to Impact because there is a Knockouts Tag Team Division. Exactly. Yeah, and, and again, there Peyton are Morrison, Tag Team Championships. So, what's his name? Yeah, who knows? Sure. Yeah. Who knows where anyone's going to end up? All we know is that they are going to end up. Yeah, somewhere. Them somewhere. Yeah, it'll be all yeah. good. Yeah, for sure. Um, big rumours that Daniel Bryan's going to AEW. Hmm. I think it's a tease. I think he'll come turn up back on. Yeah, back but they've removed. WWE. He's been removed from upcoming WWE projects, including WWE 2K22. Really. Wow. Yeah, I bet the I bet the devs are so. I bet every any time there's a release, the devs are like, "God's sake, we spent hours making these guys in the game. You just release them, not delete all the hard work." Uh. Yeah, so he's not going to be in WWE 2K22 as it stands that at sucks. the minute, and that's like sort of the big thing where people are like, "Oh, okay." So if he's not going to be in the game, the likelihood is he's probably on his way somewhere else. Yeah. Oh man, I can't play Danny Bryan. That sucks. So we have to start calling the American Dragon. Yeah, the American Dragon, Brian, Brian Danielson. Dan- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the American Dragon, Brian Danielson. I think he might appear at their next pay per view. Maybe I could see it. Yeah, I could. I don't well. want to see it. I want him in the game. <laughs> well, he could just be in the AEW game. Yeah, that's fine. I'm joking. <laughs> That'd be cool if I see him. If he pops up in AEW. Yeah, maybe we'll watch it then. Maybe you never know. Um, speaking of AEW games, actually, the AEW Elite General Manager game is out on mobiles now. Oh, yeah? You played it? And uh, I have played it. I, I played the, the beta before, um, but I have played it, and it's really good fun. So definitely check it out. It's free. Awesome. Yeah, why not? I'll so check, check it, it out. out. Yeah, man, check it out. Good stuff. So much good wrestling happening this weekend. Yeah, so good. Many of the bank will be good. Right, it's, great, it's great that fans are back. Yeah. It's going to be, yeah, I'm, as I said earlier, I look forward to hearing like natural reactions to people. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Um, there's a, there's a, I'm definitely tempted to just stay up and watch SmackDown tonight because, yeah, I am. Um, well, firstly, it's Friday. Friday and Friday. Um, yeah, I just, I think, I think I might just stay up and watch it, maybe. Yeah, I might. I'm in tomorrow, but I'm in the afternoon, so I might just, yeah, I might do the same. Yeah. You know, in your shop, do you have uh, like a shotgun underneath the counter? We do now, yeah. I bought one. Yeah, well, that makes sense now, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> got to have, have that protection. Exactly, yeah. Shotgun. COVID masks and a pump action shotgun. Exactly. <laughs> uh. Stay away from our booze. <laughs> <laughs> that was an impression of Finn at work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a jar. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I think that's probably about it for today. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Can't do anything else. We'll, I'm sure there'll be there's also thing will happen like as soon as you finish the podcast, something bigger will get announced. Yeah, definitely, yeah. As soon as, the head up on like, AEW. Yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> definitely. Uh, the American Dragon, Brian Danielson signed with AEW probably. Yeah, um, Roman Reigns will get released from WWE. Yeah. <laughs> I saw this rumours yesterday of Nia Jax being released, but nothing's been confirmed, and I'm assuming it's bollocks. Please. I think, yeah, I think she tweeted something like, thank you everyone, something or other. Yeah. But, yeah, I good. <laughs> Normally I'm like, oh, that's a shame. But with but with Naya, it's like, okay, yeah, go, go, go away. Yeah, I'm really not. But I wouldn't be bothered if Naya went. No, she sucks. <laughs> yeah, she'll she'll do something else. So you'll find you'll you'll find something to go. She'll do something. Yeah, plenty of jobs going. Like go be yeah. a good man or something. <laughs> Maybe yeah. That's yeah. Just... <laughs> uh. 
Ah, right. Um, yep. Yeah, so we're going to be live doing um, the pre-show before the pre-show for Money in the Bank on Sunday. It might have already gone. Depends on when you're listening to this. Yep. Depends when Finn gets it out. <laughs> Hopefully tonight. Oh, we'll see. okay. Yeah, we've got some time tonight. Either way, join us on Facebook. And if you are listening to this and it's already gone, there's a, there'll be a video on demand. Yeah, absolutely. So go check that out. Um, yeah, um, Finn and myself and hopefully Steve uh, will be live this coming Sunday, 9 o'clock, YouTube, Facebook. Um, yeah, we'll be talking Money in the Bank, giving our predictions. We'll probably talk about uh, some of the wrestling that's happened over the weekend, including, um, you know, mention any debuts that happened in Impact, talk about what kind of impact the fans had on SmackDown. Um, yeah, we'll, just, we'll be there. And, you know, all the other nonsense that happens during our live shows. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. I'll probably stream at Metroid at some point in the fu- near future. There you go. Yeah, more streams coming. All the stuff. We're, we're getting there. Yeah, We only had a week it. off last week due to illness. We're, we're, we're killing yeah. it this year. Oh, yeah, we are. Yeah. So just remember, guys, this isn't episode 150 right now. Nah. This has been episode 149.5 of the Games and Grass podcast. We are a weekly video game and wrestling podcast that posts on podcast services everywhere everywhere and youtube.com forward slash games graps go check us out on social media twitter facebook and instagram at games and graps check us out on tiktok games and graps and yeah but i've got nothing else to plug my name is tg <laughs> and i've been with finn Steele. goodbye and uh, we'll, be, we'll see you on sunday and we'll be back next week for an actual episode 150 absolutely yeah, yeah, man, take it easy. Or, or 149.75. Yeah, depending on how we feel next week. But episode <laughs> yeah. 150 is going to be live, so anything in between then, it's just going to have a point. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. Right, we'll see you next week. Take it easy, guys. Goodbye. Thanks so much. Goodbye.